It is a great satisfaction to greet you again. I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Rabies in cats. Symptoms, causes, and what to do. Rabies is a highly contagious virus that, fortunately, is preventable. This disease affects the central nervous system of mammals. The disease is spread through bites from infected animals and travels from the bite site along the nerves to the spinal cord, and from there to the brain. As soon as the rabies virus reaches the brain, the infected animal begins to show symptoms and often dies within seven days. 1. How is rabies spread? Wild animals such as raccoons, bats, foxes, and skunks are primarily responsible for the spread of rabies, but this disease can occur in any mammal. Rabies is usually found in areas with high populations of unvaccinated cats and dogs. Rabies is spread through the saliva of infected mammals and is most often transmitted by bites from infected animals. Rabies can also spread if the saliva of an infected animal comes into contact with an open wound or mucous membranes, such as the gums. If your cat has the rabies virus, it can spread it to you and to other people and animals living in your home. People can get rabies when the saliva of an infected animal, such as your cat, comes into contact with broken skin or mucous membranes. It is possible to get rabies through a scratch, but it is very rare and unlikely. 2. How common is rabies in cats? Fortunately, rabies is not common among cats today, largely thanks to the rabies vaccine, which is mandatory for domestic pets. However, this virus is now more common in cats than in dogs. Most of the time, cats get rabies after being bitten by a wild animal, even if you have an indoor cat, they are still at risk of contracting rabies because infected animals, such as mice, can enter your home and transmit the disease to your cat. If you think your kitty has been bitten by another animal, we recommend calling your veterinarian to make sure your cat has not been exposed to the rabies virus, even if they are vaccinated. 3. What symptoms of feline rabies should I look out for? How can you tell if a cat has rabies? Typically, a cat with rabies goes through three recognizable stages. Let's talk about the stages, including the signs and symptoms that accompany each stage. Prodromal stage. In this stage, a rabid cat will usually exhibit changes in behavior that differ from their usual personality. If your kitty is usually shy, they might become more outgoing and vice versa. If you notice any abnormalities in your cat's behavior after it has received an unknown bite, you should keep your cat away from other pets and family members. Furious stage. This stage is the most dangerous because it makes your pet nervous and even aggressive. It may cry excessively, have seizures, and stop eating. The virus has reached a stage where it has started to attack the nervous system and prevents your cat from swallowing, causing the classic symptom of excessive drooling, known as foaming at the mouth. Paralytic stage. This is the final stage where a rabid cat goes into a coma and is unable to breathe. Unfortunately, this is the stage where pets usually die. This usually happens about seven days after the first symptoms appear and death usually occurs after about three days. 4. How long does it take for a rabid cat to show symptoms? If your cat has been exposed to the rabies virus, it will not show signs or symptoms right away. The usual incubation period is about three to eight weeks, but can last anywhere from 10 days to a year. The speed at which symptoms appear depends entirely on the location of the infection. A bite that is closer to the spine or brain will develop much faster than others and also depends on the severity of the bite. 5. How can rabies be treated in cats? If your cat starts showing symptoms of rabies, there is unfortunately nothing that can be done to help it. There is no known cure for rabies and once symptoms start to appear, its health will deteriorate within a few days. Sadly, rabies is always fatal to unvaccinated animals and usually appears between 7 and 10 days after the initial symptoms begin. Your pet should be humanely euthanized to alleviate its suffering and protect the other people and pets in your home. The best protection against rabies is to provide them with the proper vaccinations that help prevent the disease. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.